the unit will be on the charger in the morning. And once it's fully charged, this light and this light will be illuminated green. If they are red, that means it's still charging. It doesn't matter which, uh, doesn't matter which one you put in either. It's universal for this. So uh, if it's the collar or the button, doesn't matter. Uh, then you wanna make sure that you take your little rubber piece Put that on there nice and flat and secure and that way uh water won't get in and she'll be good to go now how do we turn this bad boy on so on your uh remote you have a little red dot that is a magnet also on your collar there is a little red dot also a magnet so you will touch this magnet to this one while looking at your screen here your light and as soon as you touch them, the light will turn green. That means it's on and it's ready to go. Now it'll only flash green from time to time uh, saying, hey, I'm still on, I'm working, I've got plenty of charge. If it starts changing color, it's flashing orange or yellow or red, uh, it's dying. And once they start to die, they're gonna die really fast. Um, this is still not on though. Let's see. So on the back of it here, we have two buttons. This large one does a couple of things. It turns on turns off, turns on the light. We'll get to that later. And then this one here changes it from momentary to continuous. So you're gonna press and hold this large button while looking at the screen. Once it illuminates, now it's on. And this too will flash green. So now that we've turned them both on, let's make sure that they're communicating properly and to double check that they are actually on before we put it on the dog. So this uh, button here, and says T's got a T stamped on there. T for test, test it out. Ooh, feel the vibration, we know that it's on. Both units are on and they are talking to each other so we know that everything is a-okay. Again, the black one is the number on the screen. The red one is a boost of five levels. So again, no matter what level we have it on, it'll be five levels higher. Okay. So now that we know how to operate, how to turn it on, how to make sure it's working and how to, you know, make things happen, uh, we're going to look at the levels. So one thing you really need to get used to is spinning the dial. So uh, let's say our dog is working on an 11. There we go. And we want to put this in our pocket, but because this sensitive, this dial is sensitive, um, if you put it in a pocket, you're gonna change the, the number. So they have cool holsters. I love these holsters. So that way you can just clip it on your um, your pants pocket here and then it's there and it, your hands free. Let's see, so now it's cold out, it's winter. We don't want to have it on our hip. We wanna keep it by our hands and we wanna put our hands in our pockets or you know keep them in there as much as possible. But if we put it in the pocket, this number is going to move. So we can push this down and hold it in place until it flashes. Once it's flashed, now that number doesn't move. But you can still use the regular stim and the boost. It goes up five levels, five levels higher. So to unlock, you just push this down and hold it until it flashes. Now it's uh, unlocked and it'll move around. So notice uh, when I had it locked and then I unlocked it, it went to a different number. It's just, that's whatever number that the dial uh, was left on. So look at it when you unlock it, no big deal. Now it's been all day, it's the end of the day. The sun's going down, it's nice and dark out. It'd be kind of nice to know where Fido is, right in the dark. Let's go back to this big button here, the bad boy that turns it on and off. And all we're going to do is click it once. We're not pressing and holding, we're just clicking, okay? And now it's gonna flash. Hey, there he is. Wait, I wanna see that light all the time. I'm just gonna hold that big button. Uh, I'm sorry, we're just gonna press that big button one time just to click and now it stays on. Now I can see Fido wherever he is. Okay, Fido, come on inside. Oh, I see him, he's coming. Good job, buddy. Uh, let's go ahead and not have the flashlight on in the house. Same button, click it one time, the light goes off. Now I'm ready to go. Now it's the end of the day. We're gonna take the collar off. Uh, first thing that we're gonna do is use the magnet and we're gonna shut this off first. Remember that T for test comes in handy this time too. Test, test, it's on. Let's go ahead and take this little red magnet and this little red magnet, 
touch them together while watching the light, the light turns red. Is it really off? I don't know. Test. I believe it is. <laughs> so they're no longer talking to each other. We can hit the test. It doesn't vibrate. No red light. Good to go. The collar is off. And now this one, same thing, that big button. We're going to press it and hold it. Now you can put this bad boy on the charger because that's what a responsible dog handler does at the end of the day when they are in these e-collar training phases. We're going to put this in here. Make sure it goes in all the way. Don't worry. Once it's plugged into the wall, it'll let you know because that light is going to turn on. Same thing with the collar. We're going to pull up that little port and put that bad boy in there. We're going to look at our lights and they're gonna be on. They're gonna be red because they're charging or they're gonna be green because they're fully charged. And then you can just unplug it and wait it and wait until morning. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.